here it comes.
Rockville High School. School Symphony Band conducted by senior drum majors Joshua Chafee and Jacqueline Hooks.
And, and now it gives me great pleasure to introduce the um, president of the senior class of the class of 2014, Mr. Matt Gomez. Matt? Friends, classmates, families, let me your ears. I come to praise the class of 2014, not to bury it. For today is a day where we not only look towards the future, but also, also celebrate, celebrate the past. The past. Thank you. <laughs> but what is the past? Well, I'll, I'll tell you. P-A-S-T. Past. <laughs> Presently acknowledging significant times. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what we are doing here today. Fellow members of the class of 2014, I now speak directly to you. Have you ever asked yourselves, during our meditation, whichever one finds during, during the day. How long we've been striving for greatness? Four years. For four years we have scratched, clawed, and fought our way to where we are now. And now I ask you to journey with me back to August of 2010. Feel free to close your eyes if that helps. I'm not going to because I can't read my speech. We had never heard the song Friday or Gangnam Style. Prince William and Kate Middleton hadn't been married yet. We still had two new Harry Potter movies to look forward to. Game of Thrones hadn't hit the air. And of course, Miley Cyrus was still the innocent Hannah Montana. In August of 2010, we were merely freshmen. On the first day of school, we walked through those doors, or those doors, depending on where your parents dropped you off, wondering what the next four years had in store for us. We had, had nothing, nothing to base our assumptions about high school on, except for television shows and movies. Would it be like Degrassi or Twilight? Glee or high school musical? Some of us were nervous and scared, others were vibrant and excited. We began doing some modest fundraising for future events like prom and class day, such as selling Yankee candles, because who doesn't want a candle? But mostly we watched and learned as the upperclassmen organized events and ran clubs as we would one day do ourselves. When we became sophomores, it was time for us to take the initiative. We continued to attend sporting events and spirit rallies, as well as other school events such as the volleyball lock-in, band-aid, school plays, and homecoming, embracing our school spirit. We began to join and even establish clubs that, better, that helped better both our school and our community. And of course, who can forget our softball team winning of the state championship? Then it was our junior year, and we were finally upperclassmen. We started out the year by annihilating the seniors at Powder Puff. Both the field. Yeah, that's right. Not only did we outscore them by a few touchdowns, but they didn't even have any cheerleaders. And of course, our cheerleaders put on a spectacular halftime performance. Also that year, the hockey team made it to the state finals at Yale. Our prom, but as you all know, junior year was an all funding game. Our prom location unexpectedly went into foreclosure, costing us not only the site of our biggest event of the year, but also a significant amount of money for the class treasury. It was a stressful time, as we were unsure of where we would have prom and how we could afford it. Thankfully, the class of 2014 persevered, and we had an amazing junior prom. At last, we were seniors, leaders of the school. As we walked through the hallways, the underclassmen parted like the Red Sea, and all of our awesome good looks and overpowering personalities. <laughs> Once again, we dominated at Powerpuff, and staged the greatest Mr. RHS pageant that this school has ever seen. We attended, attended the Rock Strong Benefit, Benefit concert and threw our arms out in the dodgeball tournaments. And, and while, while the weather wasn't exactly cooperative, raining heavily on class day, luckily the sun came out long enough for us to take photos on prom night before the, before the, before the torrential downpours began again. again. Yet at, at the same time, we were still trying to figure out what our future held in store for us. Many, Many of us are headed to college, while some, some are going into the military or the workforce. No matter where we go, though, we will always be able to write happy birthday on each other's Facebook pages and see what our former classmates have for lunch when they post it on Instagram. 
and who knows, we might even have a class reunion at some point. Students of Rockwell High School, class of 2014, I ask that you once more rise in the worthy of this historical hour. No, you can stay seated. <laughs> some people will tell you that teenager is a bad word. They'll conjure up images of hooligans on the street and ruffians vandalizing stop signs. Today, we change that perception. Because, because as, as much as we've accomplished in the past four years, in the years to come, we will change the world. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, the seniors and I are about to conclude our time as students of Rockville High School. I know that many of us have established deep, fulfilling relationships with our teachers, and that many of us will continue to cherish and maintain these bonds for years to come. At this time, I encourage everyone present to recognize the staff and faculty to whom we are infinitely grateful. Please give them a round of applause. Within the hour, my fellow graduates and I will walk before you, wearing the same caps, the same gowns, the same tassels, the same stashes. In our hands, we will each be holding a degree from Rockville High School. These details are not arranged simply to satisfy our aesthetic expectations. Instead, they are a specific homage to the unity of the graduating class, and our diploma is the key component. We entered as freshmen, uncertain and awkward, most, Most of us had not yet discovered what we wanted to be a part of or with whom we would fit in. But those circumstances changed. When we first arrived, the number of events seemed boundless and intimidating. Homecoming, powder puff games, playoff games, spirit rallies, prom, band-aid, lock-ins, dodgeball tournaments. At first, these events were all foreign terms, strange and scary. But we participated anyway, and as we panicked over non-perishable food items, ticket costs, and the proper way to fold a toga, a very special thing occurred. Over these little growing pains, we bonded. We met the people who would become our closest friends. Most of the time, it didn't even require a big event to create these connections. Some of the best memories were made through weekend conversations, casual hangouts, and the occasional classroom text message. I encourage all of us to let the diploma serve as a testament to the varied and wonderful ways we have shaped these relationships and the influence these relationships have had on us. Think about how we initiated, developed, and maintained them, and carry these experiences into future endeavors, because some obstacles cannot be overcome with a Google search or a Wikipedia article. As we have learned, life will always present challenges, professional, personal, and collegiate that can only be solved with a little help from our friends. This power of camaraderie is the first truth that our diplomas capture and embody. Some of us took commitment one step further and invested our energies well beyond the confines of just one social circle. Over the last four years, I've witnessed our student leaders assert their influence over the direction of the student body, and I hold them in highest admiration. I would personally like to thank each departed top 10 scholar, college-bound graduate, military enlistee, varsity athlete, creative writer, artist, band member, thespian, and class officer, as well as every other involved senior. Together, our devotion and our contributions are helping to elevate the reputation of our high school. This passion is the second quality that our diplomas capture and embody. Once again, seniors, think about how fulfilling and rewarding your participation has been. As we part ways, let these feelings be your motivation and your guidance. Whatever you choose to do, make sure that it is something that you love and be certain that you are making a difference. Tonight, I want to conclude with one last thought, and no, I'm not planning to talk about grades. Instead, I want to discuss the third and final quality that our diplomas capture and embody the spirit of self-determination. 
A diploma tends to carry connotations of finality. We are at the end of our high school careers, the end of adolescence, and the end of innocence. But at the same time, a diploma also marks the beginning of a new chapter. A diploma represents the foundation for all of the life skills that we will continue to hone as we apply them in our future pursuits. Beyond that, a diploma will eventually take on a unique meaning for each one of us. Consider this. Many years from now, when this meaning finally becomes manifest, you will have reached a point in your life when you can afford the luxury of introspection and take pride in knowing that your legacy was born here, in this courtyard, on June 16th, 2014. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Brian. Ladies and gentlemen, please uh, welcome me, uh, join me in welcoming our valedictorian, Andrew Vistacek. Andrew? Now, I had hoped to stand here and talk for hours to say something so revolutionary that it would dramatically change everyone's lives. Well, luckily for everyone, I only have a few minutes. So, I have to focus on one simple idea. Be a good person. That's it. It's as simple as that. We all know that we need to be good people. But what is it that makes a person good? I can think of five components that make up a good person. The first is individuality, or distinguishing yourself from everyone else. In high school, we learn about various subjects like math, writing, and science. All of that knowledge, however, is nothing more than words on a page until it is applied to the real world. A place without tests, lockers, and morning announcements on the intercom. School is merely a medium for obtaining this information, but how you use it is up to you and you alone. Individuality is what you choose to do with this information. We are defined not so much by what we have learned from class lectures, notes, and YouTube videos, but rather by our interests and experiences. High school has given us exposure to new ideas, friends, and activities, and we have all become unique individuals as a result. Today we know what it is that defines us, even if we cannot put it into words. We have discovered what distinguishes ourselves from others and what makes us happy. Knowing yourself is critical to being a good person, but simply knowing who you are is not enough. The second quality of a good person is not allowing others to disrespect your individuality. All good people have a high level of self-esteem. They stand up for their beliefs and allow no one to dictate who they are. This second quality means a lot to me because my grandparents, who are sitting here today, lived under oppressive conditions during World War II. During this time, people were forced to think and behave in a certain manner or face the consequences of jail or death. I am forever thankful that my grandparents survived their ordeal but this repression of individuality still occurs on much smaller scales. And so, I urge all of you to stand up for your beliefs. I used to think that just identifying and defending one's individuality would be enough to be a good person. When I was younger, I thought that I had discovered the meaning of life. I believed that life was about doing what makes you happy. Seeing no counterexamples at the time, I thought that I had just solved one of the greatest philosophical questions ever asked. Eventually, I realized that it couldn't be that simple. There was a part I wasn't getting. I now know what I had missed. I had forgotten to be mindful of others, the third aspect of being a good person. In simplest terms, people can either be happy or sad. If they are sad, then something bad is happening. Now this premise may seem like kindergarten logic, but I feel that what we all learn as children applies to the adult world. When I first created my meaning of life, I had not intended for it to be so selfish. I had forgotten about what I had learned in kindergarten, the golden rule. 
treat others as you would like to be treated. Although this rule may seem juvenile, it is applicable to every aspect of our lives. Imagine a time when someone has hurt you in some way. Now imagine inflicting that pain onto others. This negativity only creates what I call a perpetual cycle of badness. Therefore, the solution is simply to not hurt others. Many of the world's complex problems can be solved if everyone makes the conscious decision to be courteous to others. And so, I offer to you my amended mean of life that has been my personal moral code. Do what makes you happy without hurting others. That's a happy ending, everyone. While this philosophy seems simple, I will admit it can be difficult to follow at times. For this reason, the fourth facet of being a good person is realizing that none of us are perfect. We all make mistakes that can potentially hurt someone else. The biggest mistake, however, is losing faith in your ability to be a good person. Truly good people understand their faults and yet continue to be good to others. In this way, people can have unique beliefs but still respect one another. It is impossible to believe what exactly every person on the planet believes. It is possible, however, to disagree without upsetting others. I have witnessed this common courtesy in my four years at RHS, and I am therefore confident that the class of 2014 will improve the world with its good morals. The fifth and final aspect of being a good person is to spread goodness throughout the world. We may not live in an oppressive society, but there are still small injustices that we must overcome. Every human being needs to know the five components that make up a good person. And so, I urge you, the Rockville High School class of 2014, to refuse to accept injustice. Ensure that you and those around you are treating others fairly. By doing so, society will progress. As a future scientist, my life will be devoted to progress and making things better. I hope that you all value progress as much as I do. And now, I would like to leave you all with one last thought. I want to share with you a quote from Walt Disney that is special meaning for me. Around here, however, we don't look backwards for very long. We keep moving forward, opening new doors and doing new things because we're curious, and curiosity keeps leading us down new paths. Therefore, I want to say to everyone here, be yourself, explore all that life has to offer, and keep moving forward. Keep moving yourself and others forward by making a conscious decision to be a good person. This simple choice can change the world if we all live by it. Thank you. We have every reason to be proud of them and the entire class. Let's, Let's just take a chance to give them another hand. Thank you, fortunately, I have Dr. Conway here to, to remind me we have an entertainment thing, the vocalistas. That's why we have bosses. Uh, we're very pleased tonight to have um, our um, vocalistas with, uh, directed by uh, Rachel Shuttleworth. Rachel?
present our class, um, Dr. Mary Conway, and to confer the degree of graduation, our board chair, Ms. Ann Fisher. past 13 years, we, your teachers, administrators, and your parents, have been trying to provide you with an education. We've provided opportunity after opportunity for you to learn skills and knowledge that will provide you with the basis for learning in the future, help you get a good job or into a good college, and to be successful in whatever you choose. Each one of us has high hopes for each one of you. Look at your teachers, look at your family and friends here tonight. Can you see the pride? Can you see the hope? However, more than we want you to become a doctor or a lawyer or a plumber, we want you, as Andrew has just told us moments ago, to be a good person and to make the world a better place. He couldn't have said it any better. You are now adults and very shortly high school graduates. We hope that your learning has provided you with the foundation to become someone who can and will make a difference in the world and indeed make it a better place. On behalf of the Vernon Board of Education and the Central Office Administration of the Vernon Public Schools, I congratulate you, the class of 2014, on your commencement. Vernon Board of Education Chair Mrs. Ann Fisher, I certify to you that the students before you have fulfilled all the requirements for a Rockville High School diploma and are ready to graduate. Leah Nicole Abrahamson. Jalice Alicia Acevedo. Carlos Jeffrey Adamson. Connor James Alba. <laughs> Seth Michael Alexandrowitz. <laughs> Elijah Guillermo Alvarez. <laughs> Michael Philip Barasano. Adam Paul Barsley. <laughs> Catherine Alexis Barber. <laughs> Thomas Jeffrey Barber. <laughs> Kevin Spencer Bassett. William Michael Salavka. Daniel Alexander Michael Blank. Jessica Shirley Burse. Patrick Sean Perry. Mark Kazmierz Balecki. Danielle Elizabeth Eiffel. Jacob Vilmus. <laughs> Nicole Faith Villado. <laughs> Taylor Ann Biniars. <laughs> Brian Michael Bleak. Julia Rose Bonadies. Huh? 
Atsi Borisov. Austin Kyle Otto. Bailey Joseph Bottering. Courtney Victoria Bottering. Daphne Nancy Bottering. Heather Joyce Bousquet. Larry Matthew Bradford. <laughs> Hillary Evelina Brandt. <laughs> Patrick Michael Bresley. <laughs> Paul George Bridge. Adam Brochero. <laughs> Tarshi Brown. Emily Diane Burr. <laughs> Preston W. Burgess. Caitlin M. Burke. Taylor Jean Burkhart. Maximilian Busca. Joshua Ryan Chafee. William Francis Champ. <laughs> Melissa Ann Champagne. <laughs> Waleed Chowdhury. <laughs> Sarah Elizabeth Clark. Joshua William Colombo. Alyssa Page Condon. <laughs> Michelle Marie Correa. Patrick Ethan Cowperthwaite. Yeah. Olivia Elise Craddy. Michael Robert Dean. Alana Simone DeCarish.
Steve Enrique De Leon. Alexander Russell Dimitro. Alyssa Renee Desmond. John William Trost. Brian Thomas Dukas. Daniel John Zen. Danielle Lynn Gentry. Amy Lynn Eidelman. Quentin Richter Ellis. Jason A. Fazzino. Jonathan Dyer Fendley. Rihanna Alyssa Flint. Taylor Nicole Fournier. Jonathan Alfred Frank. Keith Fuller. Devin T. Giansanti. Janae S. Gilbert. Alyssa Marie Gonzalez. Shane Gonzalez. Alina J. Grabber. Corey Michael Grimard. Alyssa Marie Gunther. Rachel Marie Haddon. Sean Patrick Hammond. Daniel Sanborn Hansen Jr. Matthew Paul Hearns. Jamie Alyssa Hickman. Jade Elise Hickman. Austin Joseph Andrew Hills. Amanda Michelle Hoover. Brianna Nicole Power. Hassan Hakim Malik High. So crazy.
age. Joshua Tyler Jarrett. Hannah Emily Jeffers. Genesis Jimenez. Anthony Kirk Jordan. Christopher Michael Jordan. Courtney Sage Jobert. Asia Calisides Juma. Yasir Juma. Michael Patrick Kalensic. Sierra Capinos. Joseph Kennedy. Jacob Kennedy. Vassal Ali Khan. Manor Fatima Khan. Taylor Cassidy Lajones. <laughs> Tobias Langlois. <laughs> Natalie Larocco. Daniel Kusinski. <laughs> Jessica Lynn LaRose. Lauren Renee Latula. Amanda Lynn Brian Tom Lay Christiane Regina Rodriguez Lee Eric T. Lee Jr. Elizabeth Layton. <laughs> Amber Michelle Lester. <laughs> Thompson Kyle Lester. <laughs> Shaylin Inez Lopez. Samantha Lord. 
Benjamin C. Lovett. Grace Louise Lugenmuehl. Timothy Austin Lyons. Michael Jeffrey McDonald. Oh, 
Sweet. Yeah. Jacob Joseph Ott. Yeah. Sarah Elizabeth Hare. Kevin Kamleshbai Patel. Robert Story. Yes, 
Sandy Love, Maggie Torres. Yeah, 
your graduates to bid one farewell to their teachers. After the ceremony, we'll ask you to meet them either here in the courtyard or out in the main building or out front. At this time, we'll ask our faculty to head out and head down to the
think I was drinking a little bit. 